Hello boys and girls again and um, thank you for tuning in um, for another week. This is um, White Lost with Donna's second instalment. Um, so thank you for coming back. It's lovely to see you again. And um, we're just outside at the moment. Um, we're just outside for the minute because it's such a beautiful day today and the sun is shining and it's just lovely it's just such a lovely day uh but we won't be able to do all of the installment of today outside sadly enough because there is something i need to show you inside so we're going to be going into my kitchen in a second uh although before we do that there is um a couple of shout outs i want to do um today since i've been doing this which was my debut was last week i've had so much support from so many friends that it's actually been quite lovely so i wanted to sort of do a shout out and the first person i wanted to do a shout out to today is um s flow who is a adorable person and a and a really good friend of mine and um he's actually a rapper and his link is down in the um description below um because he's a musician who um does positive music and um i recommend him of course well of course i do <laughs> but he is good and it, and he does all of his own stuff and it's just really good it's just really good and really positive um there's also um people that have been supporting me Debbie, Peaches, Excitable Rabbit, <laughs> Matthew. Um, so yeah, these people, you know, it's great to have a support network around you, um, especially with positive people and positive vibes. And that's exactly the same with exercise as well. And when you start a weight loss journey, it's good to have certain people around you that is going to support you and motivate you. So it's always good to to have a support network with you around about this time. Um, anyway, now that I've got all of that out of the way, we're now going to go to my kitchen. <laughs> so I will see you there. Well, <laughs> that was quick. Right, okay, basically what we're going to be doing today um, is I wanted to do this with you, but... I can't flip my phone around so I'm not able to do it with you because I was going to use this and have you see me do it but instead I've had to prep it because I couldn't flip I can't flip it around on my phone um, now I didn't have this um, this is actually quite new I only got this um, about a week ago and it's been fantastic kitchen scales. I got it on. Um, I got them off eBay for eleven ninety nine, twelve pounds, something around that region. Um, and they have been a lifesaver for me. But of course, some of you don't have kitchen scales. So when you're looking at the back at the nutritional, and it tells you, yep, a hundred grams or two hundred grams is this amount of calories. If you don't know what a hundred grams is and you can't measure it, then you know, how are you going to know what that is, sort of thing. And it's exactly the same with milk or anything else like that. Um, if you don't have a measuring jug, which I did, I had a measuring jug all the way through all of this, but I forgot that I had it. Um, it wasn't until recently that I remembered that I can do the millimetres bit, um, but I just forgot. So we're going to show you 100 millimetres and 100 grams. So I already have something here as well. So here is, is Sunday dinner, pretty much. So you have the meat, the potatoes, and the peas. Oh look! <laughs> There you go. So that's 100 grams of peas, 100 grams of meat, and 100 grams of potatoes. This right here is a Sunday lunch. Now if you use, if you use the smaller potatoes instead of the bigger ones, 
then I have you covered there too. <laughs> and I have done that too, just in case, because it's always good to know these things, isn't it? So that's what happens if you have the small potatoes. So it would have been a lot quicker doing it this way anyway, rather than doing the other way. So here's what I made earlier. <laughs> this is also 100 grams of milk. So 100 grams of milk is where, what it says and what's it, what it states on the label. Now one that is going to be difficult anyway, especially if you don't have um, scales, it's difficult for me even now because you have to do a percentage of it. So even plant-based butter, if you look down at the bottom of it, it will say 300 and something, um, 350 or 314 or it doesn't matter what it is, but it's around about just over 300 calories for 100 grams of butter. Now this is 100 grams of butter, which as you can see is a lot of butter. So you don't use all of that if you're, I mean this is basically for baking, it's how much you would put in a cake or something is how much butter is that. You will not put that amount on bread. So even if you think, okay, well, I don't know what 100 grams is, so I will add that up to how much I've had. And if you do do that, then you haven't had 100 grams of butter on your bread. Um, or some of you completely forget to add the butter um, to your calorie intake, which is what I did. I used to forget about the butter. But if you have like 10% or 20% of 100 grams of butter, then that's about 40 to 80 calories, depending on how buttery you have your taste in the morning. Um, so yeah, so that's done. All right, so we've sorted that. Um, so basically all you need to remember about that is um, portion control is basically a handful of something and that's pretty much what 100 grams is um 100 milliliters is maybe about that is maybe or close enough to that anyway uh let me just stick my charger back in and we'll move on to the next segment so um yes no tv <laughs> Some of you are going to be thinking, Donna, what are you crazy? <laughs> no TV. But basically, I'll tell you what happened with me. Well, I didn't know portion control. I've only just recently found out about portion control. And it's not easy. It's still not easy. Um, it has gotten a lot easier, though, with the, um, with the kitchen scales, to be fair. <laughs> it has. But... Um, it took me a long time to get to know what I was doing, so I was still putting the wrong amounts for a long time on on my plate. And then I'd sit down and I'd watch TV and munch my food. Now, I would get so engrossed with whatever it is I was watching that when my, when my body started telling me that I was becoming full, I didn't notice. I was still watching TV. And it wasn't until the point that I was stuffed that I realised... That I was full. But then by that time, I'd look down at my plate and I'd think, right, well, there's too much to want to waste it. There's not enough to put tin foil over it and save it. So the only other option is I might as well finish the plate. I might as well finish it off. I might as well eat it. So without realising it, I have doubly um, overeaten because I'd already overeaten to the point of being way too full before I decided I was going to finish what was left on the plate. Um, so yeah, and I used to do that. Um, and before you get to your cal calorie control portion, I mean, when, you, when you've worked out your calorie portion, then you've got the right amount of calories right there in front of you anyway. So then you can go back to your normal routine of watching it in front of the TV, eating it in front of the TV rather. But until then, I'd advise just staying away from the TV or putting it to a music channel or listening to Spotify or something like that, you know, listen to some music that's not going to, like, distract you too much. 
so that because I've noticed that when I've been eating after 15 minutes I'm full I'm completely full after 15 minutes so and it's a good full I can carry on doing a routine I can go out I'm not sluggish I'm not lethargic because it's a nice kind of full and then I'm full then for the rest of the night and don't need to overeat um Yes, there was also something else. Um, I mentioned in my first um, in my first feed that I was working out every single day consecutively for five weeks, and I didn't want to reach a plateau, so I've stopped working out. I have stopped doing my routine. I was doing a twenty-five minute routine of cardio in the morning. Um, then I was doing uh, 20 minutes weight exercise with Amy in the afternoon and then in the evening I was doing another 25 minute cardio routine at night. Um, so I didn't want to reach a plateau because I like those but if you continue doing the same routine for, for a few months then you plateau. Now I explained in my first... Um, in my first instalment what a plateau was and that's you can work out all you like but because it's the same routine you've been doing day in day out you'll end up in a plateau where you just don't lose weight anymore and you just cannot get that you just cannot get the waist to move your way or move at all so I've not been doing the exercises anymore I'm coming back to them um, but I, I, I've been rearranging the furniture so I've been lifting heavy heavy furniture around uh, within this week, uh, or within the week that I kind of stopped um, exercising, I've rearranged the house, I've painted um, the bedrooms, I've, you know, I've still been doing stuff. And even when, there's, even when we had rain back then, and there was no way of going out to go and do a walk or a run or a jog, I would um, find out what time it was, so I knew what time I started. And I'd put the TV on... And I would watch my programs whilst I walked on the spot or jogged or freestyled it, wherever it was. You know, even moving my arms around while I moved. Uh, built up a bit of a sweat and I didn't even have to leave the house. Um, and I've mentioned that to people as well. And they thought, you know what, Donna, I didn't think of that. I never thought about doing it on the spot. I always thought, okay, well, it's raining, so that's it. My routine's gone to pot. And then no matter how long it keeps raining for, they don't do it. And then by the time it's a nice day like today, they don't want to go out. And they don't, that you know, they're like, their motivation's just gone to hit zero. So, yeah, uh, always just remember that even if you can't, walk somewhere you can still walk on the spot march on the spot jog on the spot doesn't matter where it is and you won't even have to leave the house or go out in crummy weather to to get your exercise in um or even if you don't fancy doing that you know there's hoovering there's dusting <laughs> moving around furniture rearranging houses painting <laughs> diy <laughs> there's tons of stuff to do even around the house um that can help you just get rid of those unwanted calories so I still do so much stuff um I'm just not doing the workout routines because I think that would be a bit too much I think because you don't want to overload yourself and then not pick up more calories along the way because that's the way that you end up losing the muscle that you've built up so you don't want to you don't want to do too much too soon um, working out every day is great because the the more you do it, the more you lose. So, you know, working out every day is fantastic, but just don't overload yourself um, because that's not a recipe for success. And then you get bored and you want to stop and then you don't sort of change it. You don't sort of think, OK, well, I'm not going to do this. I'll do this instead. So you don't make substitutes and then you just lose all your motivation and that makes you want to just not even bother. Next thing you know, you've got a phone in your hand ordering a Chinese. <laughs> and then that's when you know, no, okay, well, I failed this. So even if you don't want to exercise and you're just not feeling it or you're just having a day where you just don't even want to get out of your jammies, you know, just walk around the spot. <laughs> just walk around the house, pace. <laughs> It doesn't matter what you do, there's always ways to get rid of those unwanted calories. Um, 
So you know what, lads and lasses, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Um, I don't really want to do too much to overload you because I don't want to get it all done and out of the way and then I have nothing left to say because I want to keep this going with you. Um, I'm having a blast. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for the uh, comments as well. Uh, for those of you that commented, I've replied. And thank you so much for your subscriptions. Um, if you like the channel, subscribe it. I'm going to be here every week. Um, so, you know, let's get fun with it. And um, talk to me. <laughs> Send me comments. You know, if there's something that you need to know, then by all means, tell me. And um, I'll incorporate it into the next one. So, yeah, you know, remember we're doing this together. That's the whole idea of this. Uh, so that we can do it in real time. So that we can get skinny together. <laughs> Sounds good, right? <laughs> All right, well, today's been fantastic. Thank you for watching. Um, love you to pieces, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.